Thanks to the advent of high-definition television and digital photography, we're living in the age of the close-up. But a new show at the National Portrait Gallery is taking the cult of the close-up to extremes, putting some of the world's best-known faces under the microscope. He might have cancelled his trip to Australia, but in Canberra you can still get up close and personal with Barack Obama at the National Portrait Gallery's latest photographic exhibition. They're faces we're already intimate with, but Martin Shirley's images take intimacy to a whole new level. When one looks at the magazines on the newsstands, you don't see this kind of clarity. So you can actually go up and stare into Andre Agassi's paws. German-born Martin Schürrle worked as an assistant to the renowned celebrity snapper Annie Leibovitz before striking out on his own. He's worked for the flagship glossies like Vogue and Vanity Fair. But in these shots, he strips away all that context, all the glitz and glamour. They are just flesh on bones. They are just like us. The popular and the populist, each face is given equal billing. Some are full of love, some are scary... Um, some are simply curious. Um, it's just interesting to look at the different physiognomies, the way a face is shaped. You can actually see that in great detail here. Their faces are their fortune, their skin, their signature. And what lies beneath are more questions than answers. What makes beauty? What makes us human? What are the sympathetic faces? What are the emotions that play on each face? By blowing up the photos, the artist forces us to bow beneath the celebrity cult. There's also an authority that comes out of these big, big heads. They're slightly monstrous. But the biggest surprise is in the final room, where anonymous faces from the Amazon and Asia and Africa are given the same treatment. And under the glare of the gallery wall, president and peasant come eye to eye. Siobhan Heenew, ABC News, Canberra.